What's up? This is Ghetto Gardener. Um, episode number two. Working on some compost here. How to make one. Um, when I got these two, whatever they call. Most people have them around their house and I only had one. So I just went out and bought these. But if you want me to keep it all the way 100, got my tax money cut. So I had a little extra money to spend. Okay, I'm back. Word of advice. If you get you some of these, make sure they can come apart first, okay? Because this just took me about five to get these apart. Ain't no joke. Anyway, where was that? Compost. Trying to make it. Now, I bought two of them because as you accumulate stuff, it's going to start filling up and starting to decompose. And you want to have a second one to start a new pile as your first one is getting ready to get done, okay? So, what you're supposed to do is drill holes all over here, but let me be real. I don't have a drill, so I got a knife. And I'm about to work with this. Let's see how it go. Once you get that done, as you see, I set the, um, the scissors in there just to twist it out and create some space. You can cut these off if you want to, but I'm probably leaving them because this is my only pair of scissors and I really ain't got time to be trying to jack these up. But um, you need these holes. And the reason why you need them is so that your compost can breathe. Okay? So I'll be right back and show you about the rest of your compost. Okay, we're back. You see I got my holes cut out in here. They're not perfect, but you know, good enough, guys. You need a couple things for good compost. Um, you need air, oxygen, you need the holes. You need water, okay? You need um, an even mix of greens and browns. Greens are things like this. Okay, orange peels, banana peels, you know, corn. Okay. Just all this old stuff. You don't want to use you don't want to use meat. Okay. You don't want to use dairy. Even though you and you, you can use eggs, but you don't want to just crack an egg in this joint. When you crack your eggs, clean out the shells really good. Use soap. And once you get them cleaned out, you throw them in here. That adds things like calcium. Um, you want to add some dirt in here also. Or if you already have compost, throw some of that compost in here. The reason why we need some dirt is to add bacteria, fungus, the good kinds that are going to eat this stuff up. Now, if you're living in an apartment, that might be hard to come by because even if you buy it from the store, it's probably going to be sterile. Okay, so you want to go out and get you some dirt out of somebody's yard. Might be hard to do in New York, but whatever. Um, another thing you also need is things like worms and pill bugs. Now, you can go buy some worms, but I suggest wait, waiting on a rainy day. Throw them in here, you know, and try to get as many as you can. Um, what some people like to do is if you have a yard, cut the bottom out and let it contact the soil so those worms and pill bugs, things will come up here naturally, but I ain't doing all that. I'm just gonna catch them suckers out when they get drowned out they hole. So, got everything in here. Oh, got everything moving. Cut most of it up, cut the rest up too, but you want small pieces. So that everything can eat it pretty good. I'm gonna cut these up too. Maybe, I don't know if I feel like it look pretty disgusting. But this little black specks you're seeing, that's um, coffee grounds. And I'm just taking all the scraps and throwing them in here. Onions, but um, lemon peels, orange peels, bananas, corn on the cob, you know, everything. Now, 
with corn on a cob, you can use it, but you don't want to use it because it's going to take a while to break down. Okay, so that's why I'm using these smaller things. And even the seeds in here, I need to take out, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. But yeah, that's what you want to do. And we're going to add the other ones, the other ingredients. Okay. So I put a good amount of as you can see. I put some nice dirt in here from the guy who lived here last. Had a couple plants. I took some of those plants, put them in here. Um, I got some of my old plants. Break up. And stuff. An old basil plant. So as your garden grows, you can use those scraps. Throw them in there. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is get some dirt from the ground because that's going to have some more bacteria in it and hopefully I can find a worm on this rainy day there's one got one worm right here still alive young there you go buddy whatever you may be I done lost them already there goes another one So, uh, <laughs> so fun fact about earthworms they are actually an invasive species they aren't even from here but now that they're here there's nothing we can do to get rid of them because they're everywhere so putting them in here is good and you can never have enough worms in here you probably can but hey whatever put them in there let them do their thing okay so the next step is water. You might be able to tell that it's raining here, but and a lot of the leaves up there are wet, so I'm gonna put a little bit of water. That's it. I probably would have put a little bit more if everything was totally dry. Next thing you want to do, thing you want to do is uh, mix it up. And I'm holding the camera now, so I can't really. Mix it up still if I want to. I will come back when I'm all mixed up. Alright, ghetto gardener here. Um, so you got everything in here. And your little makeshift compost bin. You got your holes in there. And the mistake I made earlier was saying that you need half greens and half browns. Well, you actually need two thirds browns and one third greens. So every, for every two browns, for every two browns, you need uh, one green. I got mostly browns in here, but I need a couple more greens. I'll be adding them as I add from my house. I got a lot of stuff in my house that I gotta come out. But it's winter time here. And what you wanna do to kinda help you out for when spring comes is to get this covered up in something black. You wanna get it covered up in something black because that's solar energy. Well, well, black really absorbs solar energy and it's gonna make the inside of here hot and to get those things moving. You can't really compost when it's cold. It moves out of crawl. But if you get it heating up, you will get it going, Playboy, and you'll have some ready for you in the spring. Um, and for us, with it being the first of March, um, spring planting is about, about two months away. So this could be about 50%, 75% done. And might be done by the middle of May if I do it right. So, all right, I got it wrapped up. I'm gonna set this down in the sun, get it sealed. I took the open part and just stuck it in there. And like I said, I'm gonna just come up here daily, at least twice a week and just give it a good shake. Open it up, stir it up a little bit. Just using a regular little pole here. And go from there. Peace.